Well, hard to believe Saturday the, is the first day of October, but that also means some important changes to keep in mind for Maryland drivers. Yeah, David Kaplan is live in Tacoma Park with what you need to know. David? Hey, good evening to you. You know, it's something we see at firehouses across our region. People can come in and get a car seat check. Well, these conversations are going to look a little bit different this year. Real quick, there's one happening right now inside the Tacoma Park Fire Station. People coming, getting information about car seats. Well, starting Saturday, it's going to be law in Maryland that if your child is two or under, they have to be rear-facing unless they're larger than the manufacturer's recommendation for height and weight. Studies have consistently shown that kids are safer when they are facing the rear of the vehicle. Virginia and D.C. already have similar laws to this. Now, in terms of enforcement, if someone is pulled over for this, the first notice has to be a warning. We've heard from parents concerned that their kid is too big for this, but we've also heard from parents who say they prefer to keep their kids rear facing as long as possible. Because they've always done that since they were young, they didn't know any difference, so they kind of just, you know, would cross their legs or anything like that, and they never complained, so it was never an issue for me. All right, pardon the pun here, but we're going to change gears to another Maryland law that takes effect on Saturday. It's slow down and move over law. Starting Saturday, if you see any emergency lights or hazards on any vehicle, not just first responders, you have to slow down or move over. At an event today, rolling this out, announcing this, we heard from Richard Reeves. He's an MDOT roadside responder whose vehicle was hit while he was on a call. He escaped unharmed, and the car he was working on was abandoned, but he says he saw his life flash before his eyes. If my truck wasn't in the position that it was, if there was somebody out with that vehicle changing a tire, the result would have been devastating. So for both of these laws, officials do acknowledge there aren't really heavy enforcement mechanisms for them, but it really is about education, both of how to handle hazard lights when you are driving and see them, a car stopped on the side of the road, as well as the best practices for what to do with young ones in car seats in vehicles. Back to you.